Hi friends, this is Annie from Annie Gurumi and I just wanted to share with you really quick. Um, I made this scrunchie out of some scrap velvet yarn that I have and I've been loving it. It doesn't leave dents in my hair which is really nice and I thought I would share it with you really quick. I don't have that much time because actually school has been cancelled because of the coronavirus that's happening here in Hong Kong as well as China and the rest of the world. So please make sure you take care and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make this. What you will need is uh, your choice of a velvet type yarn. I got this from Daiso Japan and what I did is that I wound it myself so that I can double strand it. So you want a semi thick yarn that would fit a five millimeter or the eye crochet hook. You'll need your choice of elastic and you'll also need a tapestry needle to weave in all your ends as well as some sharp scissors but this goes by really really fast so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and show you how to do it. So if you're doing a single strand that's fine if you do double strand that's okay too. This one makes a pretty thick uh, scrunchie and it doesn't have too many frills uh, which I like it's not too curly but if you want that uh, I'll let you know how you can do, make more frills if you want so basically you're going to go ahead and make a slip knot however however you usually make it and then I'm going to go ahead and take it off the hook go ahead and get your elastic and stick your hook through it so you're going into the middle and out and then you'll go ahead and slip that on just like that and what we will do is we will um, single crochet around this elastic band so once you have this on here I guess you could have just put it on <laughs> uh, but anyway make sure that the elastic is on behind your crochet hook and on top of here so that's you know you do it whichever way you want uh, and then go ahead and single crochet now depending on the elastic that you have you want to just single crochet until the whole thing is filled up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and get some more yarn and let me slow it down so you can see how I did it put your hook under yarn over and bring it up and then yarn over and then bring it through both loops so that's a single crochet so go ahead and do that and I will meet you at the end of this Sometimes with double stranding it can be a bit tricky, but I like my scrunchie to be a little bit thick and this yarn from Daiso is pretty thin so decided to double strand it and also when I was young scrunchies were the big thing, those fabric scrunchies and I never thought the day would come where it's popular again. To be honest, it's pretty popular in Asia um, for as long as I can remember, but I'm starting to see oh, I'm starting to see it becoming popular outside of Asia and <laughs> for a good reason, I think, because it doesn't leave a big old line in your in your hair after you've worn it which I think is the big appeal of scrunchies. And I generally like scrunchies that are darker in color since my hair is very dark brown. And so I don't, 
I, I like to wear it for the pure reason of not leaving the dent in my hair. I don't really want anybody to actually see the scrunchie. <laughs> so it, you are just going to go ahead and single crochet up until you cannot single crochet around this elastic anymore. Being sure not to twist at all because we want it nice and straight. Okay. So I've gone all the way around. I mean, if you want to do some more by pulling it out, I'm, you're more than welcome to. It probably will look nicer. I didn't do that for the first one that I showed you. I, and it was good enough, but I would imagine that doing more would be better. Okay, so if you've gone all the way around just like this, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that it's easier to see. You're going to go and make sure that it's not twisted, that it's nice and lined up like this. And then you go into your first stitch, first single crochet that you've made, and you will do a slip stitch just so that it joins. So just like that. And then now we're going to do three double crochets in every, every single single crochet. Now, if you want it to be more curly than this, you need to add more, like five or more double crochets in each stitch. So what I will do is one, two, I'll chain two, and then go ahead and put in three double crochets, or if you want it curlier, you can do more. If you just want something similar to mine, go ahead and just do three. And so that's it. You're just double crocheting into each of these three of them into each stitch. So that's my first, second, and third. And you just keep going around and around with each stitch having three. And then you go until you go to the very first double crochet that you've made. And if, like I said before, you can do as many or as little double crochets that you fancy. And generally, they turn out pretty nice, I have to say. And pretty durable too. And I like doing the single crochet first because it seems a little bit more stable for me. I don't know, maybe you could comment down below to s let me know if you've made scrunchies and just directly did those double crochets. I feel like those double crochets would kind of get lost um, since there isn't a, a chain where you can you know, have three double crochets So because the three and one is what's making it curl up. But yeah, you can experiment. You can even do puff stitches and see how that looks. You can you know, pretty much do anything you like. So I initially bought this yarn because I wanted to try out the loom. There is a small loom that they sold at Daiso and they had a um, instruction for making a scrunchie with it but to be honest I could not figure it out and I wanted it to be easy and directly crocheting it myself definitely seems to be the easier way so yeah you could also do you know three double crochets in one and then five double crochets in another just experiment and see how it ends up looking but it goes by really fast as you can see I'm about halfway and it's just from one sitting and I think this would look lovely in anyone's hair 
long long hair especially I have some guy friends actually that have really long hair they probably appreciate this so yes and I think the velvet looks really nice and this is quite affordable at 12 Hong Kong dollars is it 12 Hong Kong yeah 12 Hong Kong dollars for a ball I mean there's not there's not a lot of it you could probably make about three from that Daiso ball depending on how big the elastic is and how how much how many sorry how many double crochets you're putting in each stitch but on average if you're doing three you could probably pump out three of these and probably really good at market time too I think because they would not be too expensive to make and probably not too expensive for people to buy and I think they are lovely so as you can see I'm nearing the end and all you will have to do from the end is to slip stitch to the first double crochet so as you can see it's like curling up that's quite nice And I know this is not exactly amigurumi related, but I wanted to upload something for you to try. And since we are stuck at home with our family because of this virus outbreak, I haven't had much time to do any kind of crafting whatsoever, except for the crafts that I do with my son. And so I wanted to just upload this one really quick while my son is snuggling in bed and reading. And hopefully you can try it out and let me know what you think. So just double crochet. I bet triple crochet would probably look good too. It would make it a lot longer this way so if you do um, half double crochets the scrunchie would be not as long uh, these frills wouldn't be as lengthy if you do double crochet it's you know kind of a, like a medium but if you do triple crochet I imagine it would be even longer so you can decide how long you want the frills to be and you can also decide like I said earlier the the frequency of the curl by adding more or less double crochets per stitch. I'm pretty happy with this kind of normal-ish size and length. So from here, I have just a little bit left. Hopefully you can see even though it's very dark in color. Ooh, this uh, yarn, I thought I would have enough for three scrunchies, but it looks like I only have enough for two. So I take back what I said earlier. If you buy this yarn from Daiso, you will only be able to make two scrunchies with it. So one ball is about 12 Hong Kong dollars, which is around, what is it? like? two US dollars I'm not sure so anyway this is my last stitch and then yeah that's my last stitch you just go into that first double crochet that you made uh, earlier and then you just slip stitch you cut the yarn weave in all the ends and you have a scrunchie so that's it so once you've securely woven in all the ends, you will get a scrunchie. Yeah, so you can see just weave in that last thread or the last yarn that you finished with and the yarn that you started with. You just weave it in and out securely like you would do any other project. And, as, and you end up getting a scrunchie that's similar to this. And it looks very nice even on your hand <laughs> it's very frilly and 
depending on the thickness of your yarn, um, adjust accordingly. And yeah, I hope you enjoy that and have a nice day. Bye.